As much as contractors and a lot of small business owners hate Angie's List and Home Advisor, there's a big part of me that actually admires them. What's up there, guys? Izzy here once again, Do It Yourself SEO, where I help small business owners really understand the internet, website design, and getting their business found online. And today I want to talk a little bit about Angie's List, Home Advisor, Thumbtack, and all those lead generating uh, companies out there generating leads for contractors, junk removal, dumpster rental, just the home services types of businesses and why I noticed that they get a lot of hate. I just going through YouTube and I see title after title of videos, people hating on Home Advisor and Angie's List. Uh, you go on Facebook pages and see all the people complaining, uh, people saying how they're getting ripped off and all that stuff. But quite honestly, there's parts of that their business, their business model that I really admire. And I want to explain exactly why. Let's take a look here real quick. If you're on my channel, you probably more than likely know how the whole Home Advisor, Angie's List, Yelp, all these Thumbtack, all these services work already. So just a quick example here. So if I type in, for example, kitchen remodel in Lemoore. Lemoore is a really tiny town out in, they call it the Valley of California, really small. Let's say I type that in. What are the first thing that I see on Google? Home Advisor, Yelp, you got the Google listings, of course, House is another one of those, Thumbtack, Angie's List. What do you know? Isn't that something? Do you know why? Because these huge, massive companies all do SEO. Isn't that crazy? The thing that I always talk to business owners about is doing SEO for their business. And what these companies do is specifically do SEO for pretty much every niche, every home services type of business. Uh, that people might need, they built pages and follow all the rules of SEO in order for them to get their business found. Let me dive deep, deep in here and show you exactly what I'm talking about here. If you spend any time on my channel, I talk a lot about of the basics of SEO. And some of those basics I talk about are the five basic things you need on a specific page in order to get it rank on Google. And that is the meta title on your page, the meta description, making sure your keywords are in that information, the, what the keys that you want to get found for, the H1 title tag, the H2 title tag, and of course the content on your website. That's just the bare bones, the minimum you need for an order for, for a website, for a page to rank for a specific term that you want to get found for. So let's take a look at, see how Angie's List and Home Advisor follow all those rules in order to make that happen for their massive website in order to get more leads, generate a crap load of traffic to their website, collect those leads and sell them off to contractors, which is absolutely genius. But like I was mentioning earlier, let's say I lived in Lemoore, California, like I said, a tiny little town out in the Valley of California, and I typed in kitchen remodel Lemoore. There's no other reason in the world I'd be typing that into Google unless I'm already looking for that kind of service. And what's the first thing that I see? Home advisor. Surprise, surprise. And of course, then you got Yelp and like I said earlier, these other uh, pages. So what you'll see here, this is the meta title. And inside the meta title, you'll see Kitchen Remodeling Contractors Lemoore. How about that? And in the meta description, what do you see? Da, 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 there it is, Lemoore Kitchen Remodels. The keywords are in there again. So when you go to this specific page on this colossal website, what's the H1 title tag you see on this page? Kitchen Remodelers California, Lemoore California. Do you need a kitchen remodeling pro? It's more likely there's probably an H2 title tag. Now they don't need much content. Why? Because they know there's not much competition. Plus their website already has so much authority that Google trusts this website 100% for whatever they put out there. So you'll see their page, this specific page is set off to get that lead and then sell it off to a home remodeling contractor out there. Let's see if, uh, Angie's List is doing the same thing. From what I heard, they're both combined now, so they're all the same thing. Again, you run your mouse across the top, says home remodeling and Lemoore, some under the same category, home remodeling contractors in Lemoore. How about that? There's the H1 title tag, and it's in the description as well. You see the description, Lemoore and remodeling. Those two words are ranking in there too. Thumbtag, same thing. Kitchen remodel near Lemoore. Lemoore kitchen remodel. See the meta title? Meta description. Let's take a look at that specific page. More than likely, this is an H1 title tag right here. Kitchen remodeled near Lemoore. And there's not much content. Again, you don't need much to compete since nobody else is doing it. All these other contractors aren't even, they can't even comprehend all this information. So 
this is exactly what they're doing. They're sp building specific pages for all the services that they provide. And here's another thing that's pretty insane. Home Advisor, there's a way to find out how many pages a website has. So let's go look into Home Advisor. You click on that, right? Copy this whole URL, delete everything off of it. Put the Home Advisor on there. Delete the www. Now type in site, semicolon, hit enter. What this tells you right here is telling us that this website has 1.3 million pages of content. So what these geniuses at Home Advisor, somewhere down the line, probably 10, 15 years ago, all these people, whoever run these companies, figured out that people were going to go, people are shopping online 10, 15 years ago. They're already shopping online for all kinds of little, whatever they were shopping for, right? And they figured out that sooner or later, the consumer is going to be looking for contractors, home services types of businesses online, the same thing. So they positioned themselves ahead of the curve before everybody else figured this out. So they built Home Advisor, Angie Slice, this one website, and they started building one page after page after page after page until they have millions of pages all over the internet for all types of different services. Um, home remodels, deck builders, uh, concrete contractors, asphalt paving contractors, roofers, all that sort of thing. So now they have a page in pretty much, I bet you in every town, even the smallest towns that all over the country, all over the USA, spread out like crazy. You could do the exact same thing with Angie's list and you'll see Angie.com, 2.7 million pages of content on the internet. So they got millions of millions of pages all spread out the internet, ready to generate lead after lead after lead to sell it to contractor after contractor after contractor. Absolute genius. So what we can take from this is how you can implement this same strategy for your business. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So how would you use this information for your business? Well, when you built your website, when you built all your content, all that stuff, you need to start building a bunch of pages of content for your site. The same thing. Um, this is one of the things that I will be implementing further with the services that I offer my, my clients. But some of the things that you can do is start to add more content, more pages of services that you offer, even some obscure stuff, especially in the junk removals space. So if you type in something like, I'll give you a quick example, shed removal in Columbus, right? Something like this. Somebody smart over here, this junk fellow is wherever they are. They build a page specifically for that. So eventually the, the best, this specific page will be found on the search results. So basically that's exactly what I'm doing for a company that I'm helping out there now. Uh, shed removal in Columbus, you'll see uh, this website's uh, not too very, not very old, maybe, you know, 60 days. I don't even think that, but they're already on the first page in climbing for shed removal in Columbus, Ohio, because we built specific page for that, followed the tag, shed removal, Columbus, shed removal, Columbus, shed removal, Columbus. The only difference that we have to do is because we're not a massive home advisor. We have to build content on the page. So Google will pick all this information out and get this thing going. Another example here, uh, appliance removal in Cincinnati, right? Somebody types that into Google. Uh, again, guy I'm helping out there, is, his page is slowly climbing for all these other search terms, but you'll see that specific page is showing up, appliance removal in Cincinnati. Another guy, yard waste removal. Some off chance somebody types in yard waste removal in Long Beach. Boom, there you go. There's this page right here, Long Beach Yard Waste Removal Service. So you do the same thing with your, your, your business. And if you have obscure little towns in your town, um, you'll, you'll get your business found for all those little towns. So I'll another quick example of you. I was just looking at Deck Builder in Templeton, California. This is a really small town, like 3,000 people right next to my town. And I just wanted to see what showed up. Sure enough, there's Home Advisor again, because they know. Why would they waste their time building an entire page for a town that only has like three or 4,000 people? Because they know it's going to give them results. This is why I it, everybody bashes on them. Everybody hates them. I understand the hate. Whoever's on top, whoever's king, you know, even in a heavyweight boxing or heavy MMA champion, everybody's gunning for the king. Everybody's gunning to the top. This is where all the hate comes from with these businesses. But instead of hating them, why don't we just copy what they're doing? The 1-800-JUNK does the same thing. one 800 
or let's say junk removal in Lemoore, that same town. Lemoore. They probably have a page. There it is, 1-800-JUNK. I knew it. And what did they do? 1-800-GOT-JUNK says the same thing. They built a specific page. You can see it right here. Junk removal of more. H1 title tags. Meta descriptions is junk removal of more. Their meta descriptions the same thing. So they're doing the same thing. Why hate? Just copy what they're doing. Do it locally. Do it magnified in a, in a local situation, a local place, and you're just going to be able to kick their butts and just copy their techniques. And Google's going to favor a local business over a bigger business anyways. So just wanted to share that with you guys. Uh, this information that, like I said, I admire Angie's List and Home Advisor. Now they're combining to really want to kick people's butts. Uh, just turn the tables on things, man. Just do what they're doing and copy them. All right, guys. You guys want information, the, the things that I do, the service I provide, some of the stuff doing it yourself, all that stuff's in my description below. And that's all I got for you guys for today. Till next time.